Uh, somebody else with the media background want to make a decision. Yeah. <laughs> you want to have a seat? Fine. I think it's Scrum would be fine. Scrum? Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to scrum. Uh, We're going to scrum. He's sitting, so I can put this down. Yeah. Okay. Is he reading a statement first? All right. So, okay, so are we using this? Um, Uh, no, I'm just going to sit down in front of them. Yeah, okay. there's pool sound. Yeah. We are just seeing. Well, I guess. So I, I, I think when you guys are ready, what I'll do is I'll just make a general comment, and out of that comment, obviously, will come some questions and answers. You got a pole sticking out of my hand. You got a pole sticking out of my hand? Why don't you fix that? Yeah, fix it. Pull it out easy. I'm getting forced over by hand. I'm really getting both over the way. I know. I'm going to try. Is that like level two there, sir? Testing one, two, three. Testing. How do you do that? Test one, two. Is that control the white volume here? Oh, that would be dangerous. Okay. Get everybody set? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready, and Charles, stand to the frame. <laughs> well, he moved on top of me. Stay to the picture. I'm just passing it on. CBC called and tried to get me to sing over the holidays, but I was singing already. I think everybody's ready, sir. Okay. Well, good morning, and thank you very much for coming out this morning. As I had said when the settlement was made uh, back some time ago, that we would have a press conference with a press, relief, uh, press release and a Q&A uh, as to uh, what has transpired. I want to take it back to uh, when the initial uh, program began with respect to negotiations. And at that particular time, uh, the, uh, the uh, process came to an end. Uh, I had uh, d disagreed with the uh, fact that uh, money was being asked for. Had no problem with the apology or no problem with the legal point of it at that point in time. However, uh, uh, there was money involved and I did not feel that appropriate, so that was a deal uh, breaker for me. We started to proceed down the, the way of uh, uh, going to court. Uh, it was then, uh, during that process, that I learned that from a legal perspective I was wrong and also that, uh, that this court hearing would be uh, two to three days and uh, tying up uh, uh, court time and uh, tying up uh, others' times uh, for appearances and so on and so forth. My question is, what is this all going to cost? Uh, the cost uh, would have uh, far exceeded any uh, settlement that we were talking about. So I asked for uh, and convened a meeting of uh, both parties. And we sat down uh, for a number of hours going back and forth and back and forth uh, to try and settle this prior to uh, going to court, and we did uh, finally reach uh, a settlement. Uh, the only reason that uh, this was, was not talked about at the particular point in time, I think, has, has already been passed out by the other side in terms of uh, the one-year date, which would preclude others from jumping on and asking for a financial settlement. 
That right now uh, can happen after today's date. That's the only reason that we waited for the one year time period. So as I said uh, from, uh, from the outset, uh, I don't believe uh, all three individuals was a matter of principle as it much was, uh, you know, the money. Uh, however, uh, it was my determination uh, that uh, it would cost more to, uh, to pursue this in the court of law. Uh, therefore, uh, it was, uh, in my estimation, the right thing to do was to settle the state of court. That's what we did. Uh, the uh, piece of property in question was not covered, uh, like our other properties are. Uh, you'll recall that we had uh, three readings, including an emergency reading shortly thereafter, to, to fill that gap. And uh, the fact of the matter is, from a legal perspective, I was wrong. Uh, uh, contained in the press release is an apology to Occupy. Um, it also, uh, I think, uh, makes it abundantly clear that uh, I was uh, the second longest in the country uh, to negotiate and to try and bring this to a, a solution which I thought was amicable on both parts. Uh, you'll also recall that on New Year's Eve, uh, the discussions broke down when I was informed that uh, Mr. Davenport had changed his address and was now living there in front of the City Hall that was his address. He had no intentions of moving. After that, uh, which is pretty well all on video uh, that evening, and uh, after dealing with, uh, with uh, some inebriated people that had nothing to do with Occupy, but were asking questions about housing prices or something, at one point I almost walked away because it was very disrespectful. However, I did go back. Bottom line, uh, this was no longer about Occupy and the 99% it was really about somebody who had uh, moved in and said, this is now where I'm going to live for the rest of my life. Uh, there was no need after that to, uh, to carry on discussions with them because uh, that, was, uh, that was unacceptable. Uh, it was certainly proposed when I was looking at the options of going to court, uh, court injunction, that sort of thing. That's what the legal, my legal department would have preferred. However, when I asked the question, how long does this take? What's the process? Uh, court time is very busy, as you can see. It was just being dealt with in the last little while. Uh, and I said, that's totally unacceptable. What I want uh, and what the public wants and what I conveyed to Occupy, which uh, they did not uh, really listen to, is the public's had enough. I mean, your message should, at one time might have been a good message, but right now you have uh, crossed that line in terms of public support. Uh, and the complaints that we're getting, and I want to also make, uh, make mention too that it was a safety issue, and I'm not just bringing that up, they brought it up because they were being threatened. I was getting those calls, our police force received those calls, and members of council received those calls, so it was not a good situation. The bottom line is, uh, the, uh, the Occupy site was removed, and it wasn't removed by the police, as was stated on uh, Facebook, January 3rd by the Occupy movement that the uh, Frederick police uh, are, I want to get the words right, uh, we're being, uh, the Occupy Fredericton is under attack by the police right now, that was set up at 5.18 uh, a.m. in the morning. So a lot of these things, it was very difficult for me to deal with because a lot of these things had, had no bearing of truth and, uh, and uh, I didn't get involved or respond on the social media side because it just got too far out of hand. Now, I'm ready to, uh, uh, to take any questions that you may have. How much did uh, they get? They got less than the 15 that they were asking for. It uh, figured out to be uh, 14, 14,000 something. And initially what they had asked for, what, uh, what I said, uh, can't, uh, can't agree to that. They wanted $5,000 each. Now, uh, I think we have some of the Occupy folks here, uh, which is good because I, I believe at the time that they said that the money wasn't the issue, that there was going to be maybe a donation to a charitable cause. I haven't had an opportunity to ask, but I'd be, uh, I'd be very interested to see if a, if a charity did pick that up, which would make me very happy. Has any kind of precedent been set here anyway? Pardon me? Has any kind of precedent been set here for free speech or for anything in your view? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, the fact of the matter is, in, 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 
and in legal matters. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. That's what courts are all about. So it, it meant uh, going to court for three days to determine something that I was already aware of uh, through the legal advice that I'd received. Uh, and to me, that's a waste of everybody's time, including court time, which has a lot more important things to deal with. Can what you exactly expand you on the about? idea that you Can said? Can you just clarify what exactly were you wrong about in law? Pardon me? What were you wrong about? That piece of property in Phoenix Square was not included in our bylaws, and I didn't have the right to go in and to remove the uh, remove their property. And you said the police didn't remove it. The, 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 what, what they're saying in their in their social media sites is that they were being attacked by the police, and the police were taking this down. When in fact there was one police officer standing beside me who did absolutely nothing. My promise to them was a long time ago that the police are not going to come in and, and remove this site. And I kept my word on that. The police officer, the only one that was standing there, was standing there because I wanted to make sure from a legal perspective nobody was hurt or injured. Can you expand on what you said earlier that you don't believe that uh, these claims are here for the principle of Occupy but that it did become about money? The, uh, the initial ask which, which really brought the, uh, you know, the, the meeting to an end was with a $5,000 ask each. I, I really just couldn't get my head around that. I, I didn't understand why, uh, why they were asking for $5,000. Where did that number come from? So uh, that really was a deal ender for me. Uh, when we get to the point where it's going to, to, to court, uh, the court costs for lawyers for three days in court would have exceeded that. That's when I called everybody together and I said, look, this makes absolutely no sense. Who's going to pay for this? City of Fredericton. Now, on Facebook, people have um, have talked about how they wanted you personally to pay for it. Well, you know that if you want to bring Facebook into it, you know that's really a. I I spent I spent a good two or three days going through Facebook, going through Twitter, going through all the social sites, linking from one individual to another to see exactly what was being said. I can't respond to that. Uh, you know, first of all, they, the, the most recent one, the, after this settlement was made, they, they come out and, and, and referred to me as a, as a piece of shit. Uh, they referred to me as a liar. I mean, this is after the settlement. Uh, so, how do you deal with that? Excuse me, so I don't... said that exactly? Because I'm the main person you're talking about here, and I don't recall that ever happened. Well, just wait till I finish. Yeah, look. Wait till I wait till we finish this, and then I can deal with you. I've got the stuff that I took off the site was from Dana. It's written down, and it's dated, and it's on Facebook. Yeah. If you had to do it all over anyway, again, what would have done, done can, different? You can have these uh, these notes that have the dates and the times, and it's not you that said it. It was Dana. So I went to all three. Yeah. You probably don't know what your other folks were saying, but so, I've got it all written down for you. Anyway, let's get going. If you want an amicable uh, settlement? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. It's a, it's a settlement, and I'm glad that we have a settlement. If what, you had to so do it again, your, what would you change? If I had to do it that again... That was my question. I know, we didn't answer it. In, in, day, in day one, right from the outset, I'd be right at a court and have them removed legally. And I didn't do that. But I've been mayor a long time, and I have never dealt with anything like that. Nobody's ever moved out in front of City Hall uh, uh, and, and said that this is now my home. Uh, I've never dealt with that before. But I will tell you, I've, I had about 10 or 12 meetings. And, uh, you know, people, uh, I tried my best. Uh, I, I, you know, if, if anybody is going to negotiate a settlement here, it's going to be me. And I thought, you know, and council gave me full reins. And I thought there was a point where actually we were getting close together. And then all of a sudden, well, somebody comes up from Moncton, somebody comes up from Halifax, somebody comes from, from outside that has nothing to do with the people I'm you know, dealing with. As I said, my last meeting with them on New Year's Eve, you know, one guy was so drunk he couldn't, even, uh, he couldn't even talk properly. And he got into the argument about housing prices and stuff. And that's when I said, you know what? This is over, I'm out of here. Now, they calmed that person down and, 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 and got me back, and we did talk. But I said, look, if, if, if the idea here is, is this person's going to live here forever, what's that got to do with Occupy? What does that have to do with what you're all about? 
And, uh, and Davenport said, that's it, I'm not moving anywhere. And then that night he had a friend from Moncton and a friend from Halifax, and I thought, this is crazy. You're getting out of hand, somebody's gonna make a decision. The buck stops here, I made the decision. Uh, in retrospect, I look back, legally it was not the right thing to do. I accept that, I apologize, but the bottom line is, that mess is no longer there, and that's what really I wanted to accomplish. Will there be a bylaw amendment? It was done very shortly after to plug any holes to ensure that that will not happen again. The decision to have the city pay the settlement, was that voted on by council? I, I just, it, it's part of our procedural policy and bylaws that the, that the mayor or the council is represented. Okay. I guess I, I was under the impression that the, uh, the council did have, would have to approve that if it was related to a case where there was perhaps dishonesty involved. Are you aware of public officials? I don't, I don't know, and I certainly don't think there was dishonesty involved in the part of public officials. Mr. Mayor, you've been a mayor for a very long time. How would this situation, how would you remember this? How would I remember it? Uh, as uh, something that you wouldn't think would ever happen in the front of City Hall. Did you think you'd still be talking about it about two years after the fact? Uh, you know, we're talking about it, but uh, you know, nobody seems to be talking about the initial push of Occupy, the 99%, and all the things that were being done at the time that were good things. I mean, this one was just by, uh, obviously carried a little bit too far, but you know, we had really forgotten what the mission was in the first place and it then became a squatter situation. So that's it, thanks very much, enjoy.